again today, and today I'm going to be doing, um, showing you all my fidgets for a fidget toy haul. And, um, today I got a big pack of poppets and other different fidget toys, so I'm going to be showing you them. So the first one off, I'm going to be starting with the poppets, and I got, and I have this Among Us poppet. I basically rate it every fidget I have, it's probably going to be a, one, a, a 10 out of 10, except for one pop. I have this tie-dyed hexagon poppet. Looks really good. I go with 10 out of 10. Next up I have my dimple. It makes a very loud noise, which is satisfying. So I like this 8 out of 10. Next up I have my circular rainbow poppet. It works good, but it could get and it could pop up on its own sometimes, so I rated it about a 5 out of 10. Next up, I have a rainbow square, I guess you would call it. Um, it sometimes pops up on own, the way I'm holding it, but it's still really good. I give it an 8 out of 10. Next up, I have this blue one, which um, I got scammed at live once for $10. Yet, I bought this that works really good for 6 And this one... It doesn't even work, and it's fake, so I get this a 0 out of 10. Next up, I have my favorite one, which is my cat tie-dye poppet. And it's very small, it looks really good, you can travel with it. It doesn't make a too lot of a noise, so it's very easy to bring to school. And then the last one, oh, um, I rate this a 10 out of 10. And next up, I have a rainbow hexagon. Um, with stop sign, and it looks really, really good. Uh, it's not too loud, but it's a little bit louder than the cat, so I rate it 9 out of 10. Now we're going on to my Rubik's Cubes. So, first up, I have this. I have no idea what the name is, because I'm a brand new starter with finding for these cubes, but I rate it 7 out of 10. It's very Simple to solve and easy. Um, so this is my three by three Rubik's cube. It's very. I'm not a good Rubik's cube solver, but I rate this very fun to fidget cube. So I rate this eight out of ten. Next up, I have my four by four Rubik's cube. Again, very impossible to solve. And um. It's a little bit stiffer than the 3x3, three three, so I give it an 8 out of 10 too. Next up, I have this squishy. Um, if So, my dog actually bit into it. You can't really tell, but I kind of like taped it up here to make a big hole and then drew it sharpie where you see it. So, I really give this about a... A 6 out of 10. Next up, I have my Neato Cat Swishy Chess Ball, and I rate it's very satisfying, so I rate it about 10 out of 10. Next up, we have my two fidget spinners. This one is green, it works very, very fast and will stay for about 10 minutes, so I give this a 10 out of 10. Next up, I have this yellow one. Goes for five minutes, so I give it a nine out of ten. Next up, I have a Voldemort squishy. Um, I have Voldemort. I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, so I have a Voldemort, Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Dumbledore one. But um, my dog ate my Dumbledore and my Ron, and my Harry is somewhere top of my um dresser in my room and my Hermione is behind my TV because I threw it up in there. So that's why I only have that. Next up I have my Yankee chess ball. I'm a big fan of baseball and I love all baseball teams. So if you don't like the Yankees, I probably am sure. Comment down below what baseball team you like. And um, the Yankee little girl is falling off a little bit. So I give this an 8 out of 10. And this, if I didn't rate it, which I don't think I did, I'd give it about 8 out of 10. 
Next up, I made Infinity Cube. It's very good and satisfying. It's a little bit wet still because I washed it. I give it about a, nine, a 10 out of 10. Next up, I have all of these acupunctures, I think they're called. I don't really get the meaning of the scalp one. So I give it about a 4 to 10. Next up, I have four marble meshes. All different colors. I This is very fun to play with and easy to play at school, so I give it a 10 out of 10. Next up, I have um, meal, emojis, I think that's what they're called. I forget. Uh, so I have like a purple turtle, a unicorn, a dog, and an elephant. I give these 10 out of 10 because they're really cute and very soft. Next up, I have four globbles. They're very fun and they actually smell good. Um, so I give it about 10 out of 10. Next up, I have these monkey noodles. They're a little bit smaller than the real version, but I give these a 10 out of 10 because they feel so soft. Next up, I have my bike chain. It's very fun to play with, and sometimes it gets tangled, so I give it about an 8 out of 10. Last, I have two wacky tracks. I give these about um, 9 out of 10 because they can sometimes cut your fingers. So that's the end of the video. I had to run late because I only have barely enough time on my camera. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.